Eagles fans have a lot to celebrate, and in a few hours, Philadelphia Union fans hope to have some celebrations of their own. They face the NYCFC for the Eastern Conference Championship tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts live in Chester at Subaru Park with more. Alicia, good evening. Hi, Joe. Good evening to you. That's right. The Union are now just two wins away from their first ever MLS Cup. And while the soccer action doesn't get started until 8 o'clock, it is a party here in Chester on what is shaping up to be a picture perfect day for soccer. Take a look behind me. You can probably already hear the music. We've got the Ferris wheel set up, Subaru Park all lit up for the Philadelphia Union as fans are making their way inside. And of course, the beautiful backdrop of the Commodore Barry Bridge to greet fans who have just been out here kicking the ball around, hanging out and celebrating some playoff soccer here. Go Union, right? As we're getting ready to celebrate this MLS playoff opportunity for the Union on what is shaping up to be a rematch here at Subaru Park. Now, tonight they will face New York City. If you remember, this was the season ender for the Union last year who had to sit out 11 players due to COVID. The Navy and Gold Faithful say this is our chance to make that wrong a right and get a victory championship. This base is energized. They are ready to go and they are looking for a win. I love coming here now and we've actually moved away from the city and we still have season tickets. We're still here every game and we're just so psyched to be this far. Everybody's like band together to watch the game and like just come together for positivity watching their sports team win. And by the way, guys, let's just put this in perspective. If and when the Union win tonight, they will play L.A. one week. So last night, so next Saturday, they will play L.A. away. That would also be Game 7, possibly, of the World Series. If the series gets that far, safe to say there's a whole lot of sports excitement still going on in Philadelphia right now. We're live in Chester. Alicia Roberts, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And Alicia, what you're saying is we will be very busy for some good news. Thank you so much for that live report.